Hello friends, this video on carbon and its compound part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Hydrocarbons. As the name suggests, hydrocarbon is nothing but hydrogen plus carbon. Correct. So, compounds made of hydrogen and carbon only. Please note, compounds made of hydrogen and carbon only are called hydrocarbons. For example, CH4 methane, C2S6 ethane, all these examples of hydrocarbons. Correct. And there are various types of carbon, hydrocarbon. The first is aliphatic hydrocarbons. In aliphatic hydrocarbons, I have long chains, or you can say non cyclic chains. Right? So I have like this, or I can have something like this. The branched version also is okay, right? So this is called aliphatic. I have saturated. In saturated, I have alkanes. I have unsaturated hydrocarbons in that I have alkenes and alkynes. I also have cyclic hydrocarbons. So in this we have cyclic uh, chain, for example, like this. Something like this, right? It is a cycle form. So it, it forms a cycle. So it can be, in this case, it is 5, it can have 6 also. The study more detail. So it has 6 now, right? So it's cyclic hydrocarbons. There I have cycloalkenes and then I have arenes. Arenes are aromatic. I'll tell you why this name came actually. Arenes. Normally, uh, before. Uh, actually finding the structure and all they used to classify it based on the smell because these things came later right because when they formed okay found that the carbon has these many atomic numbers this is the valence electron it has and it, it does all this bonding all this study came later but before that only they could they have this benzene they could smell the benzene and all these uh, uh, arenes generally have a good smell good smell and that's why they they also call aromatic compounds so hydrocarbons so you can leave this now just understand that we have aliphatic where we have a non-cyclic chains long chains in that i have saturated and unsaturated for saturated i have alkenes for unsaturated i have alkenes alkynes and cyclic hydrocarbons i have cycloalkenes that is you can say uh, saturated and arenes that is unsaturated So we will study more detail for all this. So let's start with the saturated alkanes and this is part of aliphatic, right? This is the long chain. So hydrocarbons are bonded exclusively by single bonds in this case. There is no double bond, all single bond in this case. For example, you take CH4, C2H6, C3H8, C4H8. With all the structure of these, methanes, if you see CH4, all the carbon hydrogen bonds is all single bond right if you hear all single bond here also if you see the bond between carbon and carbon is single bond ethane right that's two carbon and six hydrogen if you take propane also there are three hydrogen carbons and uh, eight hydrogens and all are single bonds butane also if you take butane in case of butane all are single bonds right one two three four carbon all are single bonds Correct. So one more example is the pentane, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon. I'll tell you the naming convention of all these, how the ring came and all. Just understand that these are some of the hydrocarbons which are all saturated and they are all called alkanes. If you see the name ane, alkane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, right? All these are all alkanes because they have all single bonds. And they have the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. You can put any value of n. For example, you put n is equal to 1. This becomes C1H2 into 1, 2 plus 2, 4. C1H4 is nothing but CH4, this guy. You put n is equal to 2. This becomes C2H2 into 2, 4 plus 2, 6. Right? C2A6 is this guy. It's called ethane. You put n is equal to 3, C3, H, 2 into 3 is 6 plus 2, it's 8. That is C3, H, 8 is propane, right? If you put n is equal to 4, H becomes 
2 into 4, 8 plus 2, 10. That is C4 H10, that is butane. Similarly, if you put n is equal to 5, this becomes H12, that is pentane. And you, the list increases. It's not that pentane is the n. There are so many other hydrocarbons which are alkanes, right? I'll, I'll explain all these things and I'll go to the name and nomenclature of this. But just understand this is now that saturated hydrocarbon is something which are bonded exclusively by a single bond. Single bond is a mantra here. And they are chemically unreactive because the names are just saturated, means they are saturated in life, they don't want to react much, and they are chemically unreactive. So just a memory tip, saturated means it's like a saint, saturated, and they are not reactive. Unsaturated hydrocarbons, there are two types, one is alkene, there is alkyne. So I'm taking the alkene first. So alkene, they are bonded by a double bond. Please note a double bond. It has, you can have a double bond. If it has one double bond also, it will be called as alkenes. Correct. For example, C2H4, C3H6, C4H8, they are all alkenes. They have double bond. I'll show you the structure of these. You see C2H4 is uh, ethene. Please note here, there is nothing called methane here because there, in case of alkene, we start with methane, CH4, right? But here, I'm talking about there should be one double bond between carbon and carbon. There is, I'm talking about two carbon atoms. I'm not talking about single carbon atom because in, if I'm talking about only one single carbon atom, there can't be a double bond between two carbon atoms, correct? Because here, the definition says where the carbons are bonded by us, a double bond. So, for a double bond to exist, you should have minimum two carbon atoms, and that's why there is no methane here. Correct? There is ethene. The first element is ethene. So ethene, if you see, is the C2H4, is a double bond here. You see, propene is a double bond here. If you see, butene, there is a double bond here, right? If you see, pentene also, there is a double bond here, right? So, that's how it is. So, if you have one double bond, that particular hydrocarbon is. Ene, alkene, if you see there's a ene here, alkene, propene, butene, pentene, ethene, right? There's an ene word here because there is a double bond. If you want, you can write the electron dot formula also. You'll feel that, yeah, there's a double bond required because C, carbon has four atoms. One, two, three, four. It got two from these hydrogens. It got six. Now it needs two more. So it will form double bond with this carbon. So it got eight now. Correct? And similarly for this carbon, same thing. And that's why it has double bond. So you can draw the electron dot structure for any of these and find that. Everything is satisfying actually. So this this means there's electron here. Ends has an electron actually. That's how it is. Right? So if you see there's an electron here, there's an electron here, 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 there's an electron here. This put the electron in the ends and you'll find that all these atoms have satisfies its electrovalence cell. For example, hydrogen needs two, it has two. You take any hydrogen, it has two, right? Carbon needs eight. So you, need, you can take any carbon atom, this carbon atom you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You take this guy, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? You take this guy, this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six from three hydrogens and 7, 8 is carbon. So, if you see everything is satisfied, right? All the elements satisfies the stable configuration. And the general formula of alkene is CnH2n. Please note in alkene it was 2n plus 2. In this, the general formula is CnH2n and they are chemically reactive. Please note, they are unsaturated and they are reactive. Right? So you can uh, use the same thing, you put the value of any, anything. You can't put n is equal to 1 because that's not possible. There has to be a double bond, correct? And then you'll take n is equal to 2 is the starting one here. You put n is equal to 2, this becomes H is equal to 2 into n, that is 4. C2H plus ethene. You put n is equal to 3, H becomes 6. That is propene. You put n is equal to 4. H becomes 8, becomes butene. N is equal to 5, H becomes 2 into 5, 10, that is 20. This guy is C5H10. So that's the general formula of alkenes. And then we have something called alkynes. 
and they are bonded by a triple bond. Please note they are bonded by a triple bond. Right? So here we have C2H2, C3H4, C4S6 are examples of alkynes. For example, ethyne, if you see, it is C2H2, this triple bond here. Propyne is this structure, butyne is this, pentyne is this. If you see, uh, if you write the electron dot structure, you'll find that this is how it is, three here, three here, like this. This carbon needed eight, so it, it took, uh, it had four, it took one from this hydrogen, got five, it needed three extra, so it formed triple bond with this guy. So now if you see this guy has eight. Similarly, you can do with other things also, right? So that's how it is. And the general formula is CnH2n minus two. Please note this is minus two and they are chemically very reactive. Same thing, we apply the formula, we input the n is equal to 2 here, this becomes 2 into 2, 4 minus 2, that is 2, C2S2, that is ethyne, right, we put n is equal to 3, it becomes 3 into 2, 6 minus 2, that is 4, C3H4, that is propyne, this guy, you put n is equal to 4, this becomes 4 into 2, 8 minus 2, that is 6, C4, S6, that is butyne, and then you have C5, S becomes 5 to 2 is 10 minus 2, 8, that is pentyne. This guy is a pentyne. See, this ion here, because all alkynes, right? So it has all ions here. And the way it works is, I'll tell you the naming convention, how it works in the next few slides, right? Uh, how this got the name ethyne, ion, butyne. So we'll study all these things, don't worry. But just understand in this case is, in case of saturated, we have alkenes and the formula, general formula is C and H, 2n plus 2, they are saturated, they are alkanes. Then I have CnH2n, that is alkene. And then I have CnH2n minus 2, that is alkyne. Correct. And now there's a memory tip to remember this aliphatic hydrocarbons. I have alkane, alkene, alkyne. You see, first three are all same, so you can ignore. And then if it's A, E, Y, alphabetically, if you see that, this guy is A, this guy is E, this is Y. And the last two are also same, but the only thing differs is A, E, Y. That means you see, alkane comes first, alkene comes second, alkyne comes next, right? And then also here, also if you see, this is C and H, 2 and plus 2. You keep decreasing two elements. You remove two from this, it becomes 2N. You remove two from this, this becomes 2N minus 2. And that's a memory tip actually. So, 2n plus 2 is alkane, the next will be e, alkene, 2n, and the next will be alkyne, y, that is 2n minus 2, and that's all alphabetic, right, a, e, y. That's just a memory. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.